Have you ever wanted to know how to do the hand look quilt stitch? Well, it's stitch row two, stitch number 11. Now, it doesn't look anything like it's gonna turn out. This is gonna make it look like you have stitched by hand, but without all the work. Now, I'm gonna switch over. I've got a thread stand. One of my favorites is with a metal base so it doesn't fall over on a regular basis. You do need to use clear thread in the needle. We're gonna just put it on, I like a thread stand with the clear thread, the monofilament thread. Now, once you're using something else over here, I, I put this up here for to show you, don't leave extra spools just hanging around, not in use, especially over here, like if you're you're done using it, don't let this hit dangle. What is happening right here is the, the hand wheel will suck your thread in here and it will keep dragging it in until it's full. And that means a trip to your local favorite repairman. So let's not do that, but when it's in use, you can do that. When we're not using any other thread, I take it off your machine. It will save you a trip later. We've seen multiple colors in machines and that's not fun. All right, so we're gonna go ahead. I know you can't see that I'm threading with thread, but I actually am. And as we go through here, we're just using a regular needle, regular presser foot. You can use this with your walking foot too, if you'd like. You'll really appreciate that needle threader because it will pull that through your, your needle, even though you can't see what you're doing. So here's what we're gonna have. I'm gonna just stitch a little bit here um, where you're on. Row two, stitch number 11. Now, when we take a look at the settings for this machine and this, or for this particular stitch, let me get up to where the auto tension is. Thread tension, 8.0. That's the key to this whole thing. And since your machine here will set the tension for you, that is why it is cranked up. So this is gonna stitch. Um, it also says the P foot, that is actually your quarter inch foot. That is one way to use it. But again, you can use that with any regular foot. So what it's gonna do, and I'm gonna actually stop and zoom in here for you. So the way this is gonna work is it's gonna do a couple stitches forward and then a stitch back. And because it's so tight, it's gonna drag the bobbin thread up to the top side. Now when it goes ahead and stitches forward again, it makes it look like the, the stitch has been done by hand because there is a clear thread connecting everything on the top here. Let me show you how this looks here. Pull this out. So see how this is kind of looking like, well, it kind of looks like little ants going across your fabric. But what it is, is it stitches forward, then back because that tension's so tight, it pulls the bobbin thread up because the purple is in the bobbin. It pulls it up, locks it, and then stitches two stitches forward, one over itself, and then one to, to be where you don't see thread. Then it starts the sequence again, goes forward, drags that thread up to the top. It's kind of fun to, to use. It makes people think that you know what you're doing. Now on the back, it's gonna make it look like, well, maybe not because it's gonna be one solid line of your colored thread. But when you can do this so it looks like hand, even though you didn't spend that much time on it, it is kind of fun to use. It is a stitch built into your machine. It is manipulated. You do have to kind of use the right bobbin thread. Sometimes batting makes a difference. There is a lot of variables, but it is fun once you get it going.